All right, Gordon, you want to tell the channel why we are out here in the valley? Well, I'm taking my 2022 Tesla Model 3 long range model. It's got 31,000 miles. We put this thing through the arena. We don't even slow charge it. It's all supercharging. And we're going to do a quick one take as to everything broken on the Tesla Model 3 2022 long range model. So follow me over here. As you see in my previous videos, we got an entire Petri dish right over here. There's bacteria. I don't know what kind of like, you know, viruses are growing in here, but look, all the water in here is just, it's not good. The condensation as well, and the taillight is completely broken. Driver's side axle is making a clicking noise. I don't know what it is. They had to take the wheel assembly off, the aero disc over here, and they had to take the entire wheel off and either tighten or loosen a specific part. I can't really remember. I'm not a technical guy. Follow me over here. Now, interior wise, the B pillar is not looking too hot. It's uh, the clips are coming off. It's rubbing around over here. You know, every time you get in, you just hit it, boom, and it gets even worse. So this needs to be clicked back in. Right over here on the driver's side headrest. Now, this is a weird one. This is vegan leather. This is not real leather. So with certain hair products or like certain hair, like, you know, types or characteristics it, it causes a weird chemical reaction it results in bubbling and they're going to replace it for free but i'm going to need like some sort of headrest cover in the near future on the driver's side over here it's double pane glass unfortunately when you go above like 45 miles an hour it still has a lot of noise coming in from the outside so that too need to get fixed now follow me over here the seatbelt assembly <laughs> Lunch is served, boys. <laughs> <laughs> so on the driver, on the passenger side, seatbelt assembly, it's making this creaking noise when you go above like a certain speed. So it's really annoying as well. So these are just some of the issues, all cosmetic, minor issues. Overall, like the car has been extremely solid. So let's see if Tesla service delivers and give me a loaner car and hopefully they uh, sort all the issues out so fingers crossed check out this guy's license plate swas aka swamp ass little 296 ferrari delivery here near the ikea how are we oh actually maybe it's a pickup i don't know well we're currently uh dropping off the tesla loaner over here and we're picking up the model 3 that was in service for less than one day apparently everything's fixed so We'll see how that goes. I literally dropped this off less than 24 hours ago. Now it's back. Let's see if everything is in working order here. Okay, new seat, amazing. Can't believe it. Let's look at the tail light over here. Is it working? Yes, sir. No more Petri dish. Less than 24 hours. They must've had the parts on hand because I made a pre-scheduled appointment. But that being said, Let's give it a go and uh, see what happens. Incredible. Yeah, I think he's trying to disable the alarm. Dude, you know, that's identical spec to my Model 3. I just got mine back from the service center. Look, the taillight's working. That's got to be a first. We had the alarm and the horn going off at the same time. Why are they going over all the debris on the ground? I, I wouldn't even go straight. Look at that. Look at Oh, what are you guys doing? I don't know. It's a G-Wagon with no safety pins all over it. I mean, pretty cool, I guess. Yeah? No? Yeah? No? Yeah? No? Yeah? Oh, oh well. Too bad. Dude, the El Camino, baby. SS. Yeah. Rolling up to uh, the Soho house. Are you kidding me? Check out this Verde Scandal Aventador SV over here on templates. It's rare to see an Aventador SV running around these days. It's all SVJs, clapped out Aventadors, and honestly, not quite many, not that many supercars driving around in Beverly Hills, but a nice treat though. Beautiful paint job. Got the sparkle right there with the carbon fiber on the SV. Very, very nice. Lo and behold, we did not know this Huracan variant existed. Is it even a real variant? Look at this. Worst off spec. And then it's the Sebring 12 hour edition on this Huracan Evo. I had no idea this even existed. I'm sorry, but it looks terrible, man. Mr. Sheep loves a good LFA. This is the whitest of white color. 
That is the actual factory name for this particular shade of white on the Lexus LFA. Man, that's beautiful. Oh, hello. It's been so dead, we're gonna start leaping Lexus RXs. You guys complain about not enough car spot? Well, let me tell it to you, brother men. This is as good as it gets. <laughs> that is amazing. That's a great color though. Oh, didn't make the turn. Oh. There's no way he fits in there. Oh, okay, well. I'm just gonna move it. Can't move it. You can't, oh, oh no, he's, just gonna, he's gonna leave the car <laughs> as is. Abandoned ship. Wow. When you just give up on life, this is what it looks like. Right here on Canon. Cannot leave your car there and block the entire damn lane, you fucking moron. Oh, Alan with a super Legera over here. Look at this. Oh. Yeah. Oh, damn. Rolling up hard on us. Okay. Oh, man. Looking good in yellow. Yo, what's up, dude? Congrats, man. My man. I love it. Look at that. Woo -wee. All right, check this out. So my buddy, Alan, right over here, just purchased his first supercar. 2008 first gen five liter super legera how do you feel right now man i love it man dude it's like it, the best car for the money exactly the car that you can get. yes sir so is this your first time driving it or your first day driving it second day oh okay yeah. gotcha a little nervous though right oh, yeah yeah especially with the e-gear yes sir now can you explain to me the exhaust system you said it's an ip exhaust yeah, so it is uh, IP exhaust with high flow cats. Okay. Uh, so it sounds amazing. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do a ton of runs later on. We'll do a quick ton of runs, maybe a couple reds, and we'll head on out of here. But dude, this thing is super sick, man. Just looking at your Super Legera, I'm super happy for you, but it makes me miss mine even more. So hopefully the engine rebuild gets done ASAP because we got to get both cars together. Oh yeah, that's a fairly recognizable uh, start. Whoa! Oh damn! Whoa! What's interesting is this is like Lower South Grand, and they've cleaned up all the homeless people. Added all these additional lights. It's pretty clean down here. Oh Lord Almighty! Now. downshifts are brutal the gram ain't make me so the gram can't break me wow graffiti in the tunnel boys one of my first and fondest memories of us together spawning in beverly hills was we were in my old school 2008 yeah. beat up white toyota prius mm -hmm. and we saw the avenador it was the blue one right yeah. the monterey blue one yeah. and we both hopped in the prius chased down this lamborghini avenador caught it leaped it got some sick photos of it and then that was it and i was like that was the moment where we're like we gotta get lambos yeah we were like car spotting everywhere driving around rodales and Beverly hills just like chasing cars you know? yes sir we In were og prius og prius we were relentless and we never gave up because man we were literally spotting every other day every weekend yeah. and now you have your own lamborghini super Legera. Welcome to the club, dude. Yes, sir. Thank My you. man. I love it. This is it, boys. You work hard. You dream hard. Dude, they come true. Look at this. What is this? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Hold on a sec. I mean, we're admiring the cars and all, but there's like we're a little lump. Wow, that's strange. Is it just me or serendipity? This 2008 second gen Toyota Prius pulls up right behind Allen's brand new Super Legera. Man, from rags to riches, baby. Now we're talking. That is the American dream.
good old Prius. I do miss mine. Mine's got like 238,000 plus miles, but we got the Teslini right over there now, boys. Yes, sir. After watching Alan Superleggera disappear into the abyss that is downtown Los Angeles, we went back to Beverly Hills for one final loop where it was calm, serene, and peaceful. And we called it a night. Actually, not quite, because on our final loop in Beverly Hills, we thought it was gonna be peaceful, calm, serene, very low activity. Well, that just wasn't the case because as we were driving past the Beverly Wilshire on our right, to our left were a row of parking spots and a black Mazda CX-5 was trying to parallel park in front of the 4Runner. And unfortunately, I think the two girls hit the gas accelerator and pushed up against the 4Runner, pushed themselves up onto the sidewalk. They looked at us, we looked at them in disbelief, and they just took off. That's her them right there. Look, 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 there they go, there they go. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Look at them, they're just dipping, dude. They're on organ plates. Their car is Good. so messed she just up. Straight up, like you ain't dipping on us, bitch. Floored it into it, like yeah. She hit the accelerator pedal right. while they're in reverse. Yeah, yeah. There they are. And the whole undercarriage is messed up. The bumper's messed up. Jeez. Excuse me. Excuse me. We saw you guys hit that car in Beverly Hills. The right thing to do is to go back and leave a note. What? We saw you hit that car in Beverly Hills. We have it on camera on the Tesla here. The right thing to do is to go leave a note with your info, let them contact you, and if you have insurance, let them handle it. They didn't say anything, did they? No. She's like, all right. They're, They're not. not freaking out. So now, now. Wow. Out. Wow. Then the unthinkable happened. I took probably the biggest L of the entire month, possibly the entire year. And we rolled back up to the side of the uh, hit and run. We meet up with the owner of the forerunner. We exchange information. The police come. We give a report. And I say to them, listen, my Tesla recorded the entire thing. I have the gentleman sit in the passenger seat of my Tesla. I'm pulling up the security footage because when I press the horn right over here, it'll save the clip for some reason the usb drive was corrupted the file was simply not there we took the usb drive plugged into a computer and there's just nothing so i don't have the clip for you guys i'm absolutely just i don't even know what to say i'm so dumbstruck as to how that happened because i have clips saved prior to the service center and then we tested it and we saved clips after the incident so i don't know what happened of all of the clips that we needed that one clip is missing. I truly believe that those two girls in the SUV that hit that car put a voodoo hex on my USB drive, on the Tesla, or just on me. A curse, some might say. Ultimately, what is the life lesson here? I think it's pretty simple. Just be a good person. Be a good human being. If you're in an accident, whether it's your fault or not, stop, pull over, exchange information, and that'll be that. If you gotta call the paramedics, the police, or whoever, them do it by the way there are security cameras up the wazoo in beverly hills they were going to get caught it just so happened that we were there at the right time at the right moment don't do hidden runs it's just not worth it and you've ever witnessed one do the right thing get the information and then at least leave a note with the person that they hit or at least convey that information to the police so anyways see you in the next video guys